I don't have time. Well, how about that time you wasted with that boy, huh? <laughs> I don't have a gym either. <laughs> hey guys, for today, no, for this week's video, I've decided to film another week of workouts in my life. But this time, no gym, because I don't have a gym I'm going to, because there's no gym around where I'm staying right now. But I'm sure that will change, because I miss the gym. I've been kind of like into Pilates <laughs> and calisthenics, because I have no gym and no weights. This morning, I did a little Pilates workout. It's like kind of fun. Now, it's uh, around 3.30 and I'm about to go on a run. I'm just going to go on a 5k. It takes around 25 minutes depends on my pace it's like a really easy route it's just a straight line so i'm gonna take you guys along on my little run today okay but like guys um running is really good for your cardiovascular health and i forgot what that does i think it's like your heart yes it's me again it's the educated elka back I'm ready to educate you and spill beans about cardiovascular health. Okay, let's go. Frick. Guys, did you know that running actually helps... Running actually helps lower your cholesterol and your blood pressure, so it like halves the chances of you getting a heart attack. So why wouldn't you want to do that? But guys, why wouldn't you want to work on your cardiovascular health? Tell me why. Stop being lazy, okay? Well, I'm kind of like saying these things because I need to hear it. Guys, if you, if you struggle or tend to get stitches easily, make sure that you are having enough time from eating to your run. So for a big meal, you want to wait three hours. Better to wait like four hours. So that's one way of not getting a stitch. Um, I kind of ate like whole pizza less than two hours ago and I also had lots of food this morning. Yeah, I'm also kind of speaking for myself right now. Since I have plans later tonight, I want to get this out of the way. And if you get a stitch on your run, then you're basically doomed to having a stitch for the rest of your run. So just accept your fate and keep going. Oh, yes, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I'm actually kind of excited to go on a run now because I started vlogging. Because before today, I was feeling quite unmotivated and a little bit sad, honestly. But I journaled about it and I really met and felt my emotion and I really like felt the things that I was feeling. But now I'm feeling way better. So I hope this helps you to, I don't know, if you're feeling sad, or if you're feeling bad, or if you're feeling lazy, journal about it. Think about how you can be 1% better my 1% better is by going on a run but I have to learn when to rest so it's basically just like a, just like a balance balance <laughs> yes balance I don't know about you but I feel like whenever something pisses me off or like I get mad I just have such an urge to like sprint like like right now I just feel so much energy rushing through my veins right now like I just like I I, I need to go I need to go and then I, I can stretch and then I can go. Hey guys, so I was supposed to go alone, but my cousins wanted to join me. <laughs> guys, I've literally inhaled so many butts. It's so pretty. Which way? I don't know, which way to go. I'm a little tired, y'all. Guys, look how pretty. Guys, look at the flowers. It's so pretty. Oh my god, it's so pink. Oh my god. Guys, it's so pretty. I'm gonna be honest. Um, Japanese people in like the countryside, they love to look. It's kind of funny. I look even too shy. It's actually crazy how quick fitness can be built. So if you just stay consistent, you will get really f oh, bugs. I keep eating bugs. River ASMR. Okay guys, it's my last K. 
My legs are low key, quite tight. Now I'm gonna go eat some okonomiyaki. I'm also gonna film some of what I eat. The thing is, I don't really like okonomiyaki, so. <laughs> yeah, Aoi really likes it. This okonomiyaki has potato salad and cheese in it. Is this monja? That's yeah, interesting. It looks disgusting, but it's actually really good. Hey guys, so it's the next day. It's around 9 a.m. I'm gonna do a little Pilates workout. I'll link the videos that I use in the description, but I'm like kind of feeling a little tired. Like I don't have much energy. Guys, this is my yoga mat. I don't know if you can see it, but it's my <laughs> yoga mat for now. Yeah. This is just a reminder that you don't actually need a gym or anything to stay fit. Um, Although I would like to have access to a gym, I've still managed to stay really fit using body weight exercises and like running and stuff. So yeah, just a little reminder. No excuses, please. I really like this girl because she incorporates yoga and stuff like that. Chicken, potato. Morning guys! It's the next day and I'm gonna be doing another little Pilates workout. It's 7.30 right now. I'm gonna do it until like 8 because I've gotta get ready. I'll usually do like one to two workouts a day. Sometimes I'll do none. Cause I'm used to going to the gym and lifting heavy weights and that's like really tiring on the body. So like, a 30 minute Pilates thing doesn't like, you know, use as much energy as like a normal gym session. So what I usually do, I either go for a run or something, but I actually, I miss the gym. Guys, it probably doesn't look like I'm struggling that much, but it was actually kind of hard and what I can say about doing these kind of workouts is I used to like do so many of these workouts when I was like 15 and my fitness was extremely high. Like I went from running zero to eight Ks within one week every single day. But that's also how I got a stress fracture. So I do not recommend that. <laughs> I'm speaking from experience. I also got reoccurring stress fractures up until like last year and I'm so glad they're gone. I'm really gonna show what I eat in the morning once because I literally eat the same thing every single day. I just have a bowl of oats, I have yogurt, and then I put like kiwi fruit and stuff in it. Back in New Zealand, I would put an overnight chia seeds in it and that really, really good at keeping you full. It looks so yummy. Good morning, guys. <laughs> once again, it is an uh, at home workout day as usual hey guys so this morning i felt extremely lazy and then i noticed that i was like pushing the laziness away ignore the fact that my body was freaking tired so today i'm intentionally gonna rest instead of like relaxing but feeling guilty about it because they're two different things if you're feeling lazy or unmotivated beating yourself up about it Stop doing that and instead accept that your body is tired because the body is here for your soul to experience things. Your body is just here as a little device that allows you to make experiences, learn things, feel things. And part of the feeling things is feeling unmotivated and lazy and tired. So you have to let your body rest, okay? You can't be happy, you can't be motivated all the time. If you're happy and motivated every single day, every single second, every single millisecond of the day, and you don't even know what happiness is. So if you're feeling a little tired, a little lazy, a little unmotivated, it's okay, okay? You just have to accept the fact that your body's tired and you probably should rest a little bit. Got it? Thank you. Now on to the little workout montage.
Hey guys, so I'm actually going to answer a few questions that I've gotten. One of them is, how did you get started working out? Well, firstly, I just want to say that I've been a very much active person for like my whole entire life. Like, I was a complete try hard at um, cross country, which is like long distance running. Ever since I was 12, I was so try hard that I was on a holiday in Japan, right? I was in Japan and I went home a week early just so I could do the cross country <laughs> race. So, yeah. I started my working out gym era with weights ever since lockdown, so when I was 15. And ever since that, I was just like learning. How do you get started into running? I don't know, guys. What am I saying? If you're a beginner at running, literally just go. Stretch, make sure to stretch for like 15 minutes. Dynamic stretches, which is like, but it's just like stretches that aren't static. I'll show you some right now. <laughs> Such as, like, like this, like, like this, oh my god, I look so compressed right now. Yeah, and then, wait, why do I have no eyebrows? Wait, I have eyebrows, I swear. I swear. <laughs> um, yeah. Working out just makes me energized, it makes me more happy, it makes me just just makes me so it's also a way for me to release energy because i would say i have quite a lot of energy okay so i'm going to be listing some disadvantages and advantages to working out which includes running going to the gym pilates whatever you want to do okay so the first disadvantage is Okay, now onto the advantages. Um, number one, you'll get snatched. Number two, you'll feel better about yourself. Number three, you'll just feel more fit. You'll feel more energized, just like amazing, more connected with your body. Number seven, if you go on a run, you know, you'll be more connected to nature and stuff. You can see beautiful things. Number 89, your health will be improved so much. Number 235.3. You will look so good. You'll look so snatched. Number 1,183. You will also glow up. Because remember what that X did to you? Remember what that X did to you? Uh-huh. Okay, so now it doesn't have that much, huh? Huh? Oh, but I don't have time. Well, how about that time you wasted with that boy, huh? I'm too tired. Well, are you not tired of being treated like that? I don't have a gym I'm going to. I don't have a gym either. Remember what that ex did to you. Remember, remember what that ex did to you. Going to the gym doesn't hurt that bad anymore, does it, huh? It doesn't hurt anymore, hmm? Nah, I'm kidding, guys. Working out is just amazing to make you feel good in your body, make you happy, more energized. Like, there's only good sides to working out. There's nothing bad. Except for maybe you just have like people in your DMs constantly. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm actually going to list a proper disadvantage. And I'm going to tell you guys right now. It's, well, the only disadvantage about working out is that when you start having a thousand boys in your DMs. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I don't think there's any disadvantages to working out. Okay, guys, it's now 4.30. And after I went on that rampage, I've decided it's time for me to run. It's freaking freezing. Let me just tell you that. Let me just tell you that. It's like negative 500 degrees outside, so I'm really like quite scared. So pray for me. And I'm excited to take you all along with me. And also, if you're wondering why the quality is clapped, well, it's because I lost my phone. So... I'll leave my phone somewhere because I don't really use it unless I'm vlogging, like making TikToks. That's about it. My screen time on this thing, however, is she's high up there. Okay, I'm out here. I feel like I'm going to turn into a bunch of ice. <laughs> that was on a thumbnail. <laughs> Who's that skinny legend? Halfway. Holy freak. 
Okay guys, I just got back from my run. I ran 5.6 Ks and my average pace was 4 minutes and 55 seconds, which is actually pretty good considering I haven't been on a run recently. Well, I was on a run three days ago. <laughs> I just started using the app Strava, which is like an app where you can track your runs and stuff. So you can follow me at thingy. I don't really know how to use it, but yeah. Follow me. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh my God, please. I look really clapped right now. It's time to do some workouts. I did a 30 minute ab workout. I will put the video in the link description, but it was so hard, like actually, but it was so fun. But now I'm gonna do some calisthenics for my upper body because I wanna be able to do like 500 push-ups because I think that's really cool. So yeah. When I first started working out like in 2020 or 2021, I genuinely could not do push-ups at all. Like my upper body was genuinely just stick and bones. But now I can do some push-ups, which I'm actually really proud of myself for. So if you can't do like push-ups at all, um you can do it because I did it and Honestly, it just takes practice. Like, do like one or two every single day. And then, oh, okay, yeah, I'm really struggling here. Guys, these eccentric push ups are actually really hard, but they're really fun. And, um, yeah, push ups are actually really fun once you're able to do like multiple in a row. It's just such a freeing experience. <sighs> Okay guys, this is my first time doing this scoop dilly scoop movement, but it's actually, yeah, I think I'm doing it a little bit wrong, but it's actually really fun. It's like a little wave movement, and it's actually quite hard, you should try it. Hey guys, it's Alka from the channel Love Alka, make sure to subscribe and smash the like button please. Please. I'll sing a song for you guys, just for my Alka. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. This is yes. your home. Again, okay. Um, the last one was a little bit different, so I'm gonna sing you guys a little song. This is a present for you from me, okay? 